Well, good afternoon, folks. It's Friday, I believe it's the 22nd of July. Just about five past six at night. Uh, yeah, what a difference two days make, a eh? Tuesday, wow. Uh, I think we're all of UK. I'm not so sure about Northern Ireland, though. <clears throat> but England and Wales and the Midlands, well, I am. Well, what was it? I think we got to about 39 degrees outside. Just to what? We took the dogs out early, only gave them half of the normal walk. Because Bailey, bless him, you know, he's 11. And it's just too much for him. And for me. <laughs> so, uh, but then we just stayed in, basically. Just closed all the windows, curtains, doors. Had a fan on. I ordered a fan last week. On, in anticipation, shall we say. And it arrived yesterday. <laughs> Whatever. And then today, got up. 15 degrees centigrade and raining. Much needed rain, but it hasn't done much to the garden. But it was only a very fine rain. So, just seeing now we're supposed to be having a bit of rain next two or three days. Then temperatures going back up to mid to high 20s. So, obviously I'm down the plot. So I'll spin you round and I'll just show you what I've been up to. I came down Wednesday, basically just to water and take a few, pick a few bits and bobs, some beans and I think there was a couple of courgettes. So, but then later on, maybe even tomorrow or Sunday morning. Oh, there's an idea, weekly potato reveal. How about that, Bill? Eh? So I'd have about one, or I'd have a few weeks to go, wouldn't I, eh? We want a week. Right, I'll spin you around and catch you in a minute, folks. Right then, folks, here we are back again. Here's the glass greenhouse with the chilies, tomatoes, gherkins, baby cucumber, and a big cucumber. Uh, the tomatoes, I'm not so sure about them this year. I thought I would have had a few, I don't want to say green, red ones by now. But uh, nothing. Oh, I needed to cut that out. No, I didn't. For some fair sized ones, and these are all in here from my own tomato safe seed. This one. I think I'm going to take it out because it looks a bit suspect to me. I think I'll take them out when I come down again. And I'd say there's some fair sized ones on here and on there, look. So they'll be, they'll be all right, they'll be all right. But I'm seeing on one or two of them. Whoops, let's get you there you go. This, as if we're growing extra tomatoes out the bottom. And I really don't know what it is. If anybody could give me a clue, I would appreciate it. So, there's the chilies. Sorry about the sun. Uh, a bit slow. That one's the Hungarian hot wax. Never grown them before. Not sure when you're supposed to pick them. I normally wait till they're red. There's Ring of Fire. Carolina Reaper. It's got a lot of flowers coming. Right, let's see if we can see what temperature. They, I don't know if you can see. Says on there, and let's see if I can get you to whipped just a minute. Sorry, there. Whoops, 50 degrees, 50.4. Come out with jungle, some more pepper uh, chilies. 
one of these common cucumbers just kick the watering can there not the bucket there coming pretty good now we've I've had a couple but uh, I normally give these away and then there's the foliage of my flowers on these baby cucumbers and gherkins is unbelievable as you can see so and we'll come out here it is a bit cool out here it's warmed up a, a bit today bit of a bit of small harvest look a few french beans some gherkins a little onion courgette and a little ca cabbage that will do us and there the oversized ones which i've not uh, managed to get though once i do this area down here make it into two new some new raised beds all of this will be going at the bottom so and then into the wood one very green as well in here not many tomatoes sort of ripening but at home i'll show you them on the next video if june's not picked them the outside ones crimson crush they're going crazy they are as you can see need to pick the tops out on them now because they're tall enough so just keep growing forever block the light out so not any peppers as such yet i've had a few little ones so i had a nice rome i'm sorry harry's italian plum tomato the other day mrs did it into a a sauce a bit of a sauce and we had um pasta with it and uh, prawns so there we go go into the cage my super duper parsnips ah oh dear four on them ah oh well and then this was garlic in here and it still is somewhere but these are all, I've told you, we said before, pink fur apple volunteer potatoes. So I'll let them grow. Probably get a better crop from these than me planted ones. The remnants of my calabrese. They're starting to grow a few side shoots on. Might get some little uh, heads off of them. Uh, Brussels. They're going slow. This, this time last year, there was about six foot high, and with Brussels on. Well, we'll see. Tidied that bed up. This bed needs to be tidied up. So. of green courgettes a few plants coming on I don't know if you can see down there and then here I'm not sure what colour that one is uh, yellow courgettes there I might take those I don't know yet or leave them but it doesn't uh, red cabbage bed needs a bit of a tidy up there's the golden acre i believe is cabbage this is where i took one from down there i only put six in it's enough for me and the missus so they'll be all right carrots coming along none ready yet I don't think let's have a little mooch no not ready yet whoops so 
Let's have a walk out it. And these are the April cabbage. I need to tidy them up. Take some of the dead leaves off. Onions, they've not grown as big as I was hoping. These are stirring. I was expecting them to be a bit bigger. More like how that one is just there, but some are, some are not. But I think I might still be able to leave them for another week or so. And see what we got. Beans, I mean, they didn't go in the ground until beginning of June. So we're not doing too bad and I'm having little pickings. So, and uh, what did you see? There's the others. And there's some more onions. Clean that bed up, ready. Because what I normally do is empty my potatoes out on here and leave the compost to overwinter and then use it. But I might put it back in buckets this year. There's the potatoes. Some of the earliers are going into dieback, but they'll be all right for now. <coughs> take you around here. I won't show you too much on that next plot. There's the <coughs> leeks. <coughs> They're coming on nice. So, yeah. I need to, I'm going to give them a spray this year with this stuff I've got to try and delay rust. I forget what it's called. I was going to take these big onions home, but I'm just going to compost them. They're no good. They don't look nice. So, and then here we have what I had left over tomatoes, six plants, and I've not touched them. I've watered them, but I've not took any side shoots off, nothing. And to be honest, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave them to their own device and see what I get. Any tomatoes will be a bonus. A Brucey bonus. So, see what we get. And then, back to this bed, which, as I say, I want to tidy it up and put, make, a, make a new raised, raised bed here, raised bed area. So, right, I'll be back with you in a minute. Folks. Right then folks, back again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little tour. Now, on the last video where we did the potato reveal, June couldn't get her maths right, could she? Anyway, eventually I did convince her that I was the nearest. And yes, June did make the coffee. So, uh, bet's a bet, isn't it? Right, so, anyway. Oh, yes, another little thing uh, what I want to do. I do know that there's a few people or YouTubers who have their own channels who have come down with the dreaded COVID. I won't say the names, because I don't know. I think one person wants everybody to know, so I think he's told you on his video. Uh, I won't say the names just in case I don't want people to know and it's not my place is it so but all I want to do is wish you good and quick health and recovery and look after yourselves folks right so thanks to all my new subscribers and my existing subscribers I'm creeping up to 800 on 708 or something now 
so creeping up there slow but surely so thank you all so kindly for subscribing and viewing watching leaving comments and giving me thumbs up i love it right then folks we'll call it quits for now so the next one then we'll do a weekly potato reveal until i've run out of potatoes right then folks take care be good keep safe and look after your loved ones cheers now Bye.